We're here at the 2018 NRA Annual Meeting in Dallas, and I'm here with Jim Sapika, Phil Schreier with the NRA Museums, but also it's a gun guru reunion and takeover <laughs> here on Curator's Corner on NRA TV exclusive. Gentlemen, love you, and thank you for being here with us because at annual meeting there are so many neat people, so many wonderful farms and treasures and stories. So what do you have for us this time? Well, at the NRA annual meeting, we always have the collector exhibits, and this is kind of the World Series of gun collecting. The best sure gun is. collecting clubs in the world bring their finest items, build these beautiful educational displays. We're here in Dallas, and it's very fitting because this year the Dallas Arms Collectors Association won the NRA's highest honor. Oh, there you go. Best of show. you got to love it. you got to love it. The Gun Collectors Committee trophy has been in place since 1960. And this is the fourth time the Dallas Arms Collectors Association has won that in, uh, what is it, 55, 56 years, something? Yeah. Wow. I'm a liberal arts major. My math skills are, <laughs> are low. You and me both, pal. But we have Bill Crawley, the exhibit director, and Hoppy Hopkins have come up from the club. We love your shirts. <laughs> <laughs> but you've got, uh, not only did you win the best overall, but you won a silver medal for one of the most exquisite Civil War revolvers I've ever seen. Tell us a little bit about it. It's a Tucker and Sherrard. In Texas, during the Civil War period, Texas had not only border bandits, Indians. We had all sorts of problems. And earlier than that, with the coming of the Patterson and the Walker, Texas was a horseback economy. And they followed in a cavalry style, so the revolvers were in great demand. Just outside Dallas, a lot of businessmen and people that had machinery and the ability to build weapons in Lancaster, Texas, just outside Dallas, they came together and they asked to, for a contract from the state of Texas to build revolvers on a dragoon style. So it was looked at by the state of Texas and it was determined that they had the actual abilities to build it, so they gave them the contract to build it. So they put it together in Lancaster and they agreed with the state of Texas to charge $40 per pistol. Mm. I believe the first initial delivery was 181, and then things started kind of turning south. Mm. Now, this one says Clark and Sherrard on top. Uh, one, I believe, is in our collection. It says Tucker and Sherrard. Uh, how many total are out there? of this company that changed hands and organization over the years? I don't know that they know actually, but I have heard numbers like 280 some of them. And this is the finest example extant as far as I've... <laughs> they have a beautiful, beautiful scroll work on the receiver. I don't know if you can see it, but they have the Texas Star on it. And on the other side, a beautiful night, cannons, and basically eye candy as far as scrolls go on them. But there was a lot of people involved, and I understand that the person in charge with the weapons in the state of Texas kind of covertly got involved with the company. But what they finally determined was a contract at $40 with guns at high demand. Some people were willing to pay them 100 so that was partially what caused the company to start going south. Well, this is an exceptional example of a very, very rare and important gun. The entire display's theme is the guns and gunfights of the Texas Rangers, and you span quite, quite a time, time span. Rangers were kind of nebulous. You might be a farmer one day and the next day a ranger. Sometimes people were designated rangers for periods of time. But in Texas, it started early, you know, obviously with Austin. But when the Texas Revolution occurred, they kind of morphed into the Army and did rear guard and scouting and sometimes just had to protect their family. So guns and gunfights of the Texas Rangers and what we displayed goes up into basically contemporary time on the far side. But we start with early Texas with the Comanches because the Comanches were the most unbelievable shot well, cavalry in the world. It's a wonderful display at an exceptional show. And the big thing is we have another national championship show coming up right here in Dallas this November. Why don't you tell us about that? We do. We're going to co-sponsor with the NRA at our show, Dallas Arms Collectors at Market Hall. And we have a contest that we're going to give uh, $12,000 awards to the best displays. In this show, what we've agreed to do to make it so we can motivate people to come to it, it's $50 per table. And at the end of the show, we refund all the money. 
Well, that's a wonderful concept. This show is the NRA National Gun Collector Correct. Show each year at a different location. Uh, it's a unique opportunity for the people in Dallas and people from all over the country should be bringing their displays and entering this important competition. Wonderful. Thank you, gentlemen, for sharing. Congratulations. You won here in Dallas. Thank you. Great job. And that's Thank you it. very much. There's this episode of Curator's Corner.